Hello everyone, and welcome to... Twenty minutes of loud stompy noises! Yay! Just kidding. If you don't know what you're looking at, this is uh, Beast of 9500. Um, as you can see, it's not a bad looking game. Uh, you know, the environment looks alright. Looks pretty good. Looks better than some finished games I've seen as of late. Um, the dinosaur. This is a Giga, if you can't tell from his hind view. Um, doesn't look terrible, you know. Uh, it, uh, aside from the awful stompy noises and the repetitive bird tweeting, if at first glance, oh, E to drink. Hmm. Well, that seems familiar. Well, moving along from that, at first glance, this doesn't seem <laughs> too bad. Um, and then I start swimming. And it all goes downhill from here. I mean, look at that. <laughs> um, I, I, I just can't possibly think that a Giga would be able to swim like that. Also, it's really strange how deep this little pond in the middle of the sand is, but we'll disregard that as well. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this game. Like, it obviously has potential. It looks cool if it could get some, like, real support going on. It might actually turn into something. Um, I picked it up a couple days ago because it was on sale for $3.99. Normally it's like ten or $9.99, so 4 bucks versus 10 bucks. And for me, even this, even if this ends up being a complete flop and I never play it again, three ninety nine is not that big of a deal. And there were some things that happened later that uh, were quite amusing. Um, and yes, here I go swimming again. <laughs> Beautiful, elegant, graceful swimming of the Giganotosaurus. And now back to our regularly scheduled thumping. So yeah, um, <laughs> uh, one of the reasons why I decided to do this as a voiceover instead of commentating as I play was one, I was kind of concentrating pretty hard, but two, um, I wanted to have absolute control and separate tracks for my voice and the game sound because a couple minutes of that thumping before I started recording and I was getting ready to go insane. Plus these birds just keep chirping the same thing over and over again. Um, and there's no like ambient dinosaur noises, noises like there are in the aisle. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's a really beautiful game. It, it looks really good. Um, I wish it had some kind of like solid support going on from what it seems like. I mean, I'm not really on the, the know on this game. I've just heard things on and off. Um, but it just doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. There were literally three people on when I got when I started and they were in different servers and then they moved over to this server. I don't know if it's because they saw me here. Um, and they actually like invited me, but the invite kept making my screen freeze up and I couldn't accept the invite and I couldn't, um, I couldn't, uh, uh, like I couldn't click the invite and I couldn't do anything else. You'll see later when it happens. It's sort of annoying, but it, God, it really is a good looking game. I know I sound like, I would sound like a brum broken record but for all things considered it looks really good um so i don't disagree with the people who say that this has a huge amount of potential because it totally does it also has like a huge amount of nothing to do so instead of sticking around or sticking to uh one dinosaur i did kind of uh jump around to a few different ones just to kind of see what they're like um, because unless there's some, like, big advancement in this game, it's, it's a good chance I probably won't play it again unless I have nothing else to do. <laughs> it's just a bummer, because once again, it looks pretty nice. I was curious why it asked me if I really want to respawn, and then it slaughtered my Giga right in front of me, and now I understand. So, like, are you ready for this tragic end that's about to happen? <laughs> 
there's a quite a variety of dinosaurs. Uh, Acro, Brachy, Carno, Spino, four legs, Spino, two legs, Stego, Therizinosaurus, T Rex, uh, Giga, and a bunch of other ones. Uh, I picked the Acro next. And the Acro apparently has the Rona. It can't stop sneezing. So yeah, that was the fantabulous sounds of a Acrocanthosaurus walking and running. Ironically, the- or maybe not ironically, but oddly enough, the sounds that they make in the water aren't too bad. Right? I mean, that's not like music to your ears, but then- oh look! So that jumped into that really fast. Good job editing me. Um, but then I did find some... Uh, AI. <laughs> They're definitely AI. Don't believe the Pentaceratops is on the list. And uh, I mean, I could basically stand in this thing and it didn't even attack. It was a glorious and hard fought battle. Literally, it lasts for several minutes. It never. From, as far as I could tell, it never did any damage to me. It just kind of, after a few bites, it just kind of moped around. Perfect. Now it won't be getting it. Oh, I've got it in my grips. <laughs> Beautiful. Glorious. And that is the might and glory of the Acrocanthosaurus in Beast of 9500. Moving right along. <laughs> oh, the respawn. <laughs> Alright, so this time I'm gonna uh, try a, uh, a flyer. I have a pterodactyl and uh, something else, I think. But there's also a. I'm not gonna be able to say this without being able to read it. Bear with me. It's coming because I'm about to select it. The Thalassodromius, I think that's what it is. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even actually realize it was a flyer until I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty cool looking. It's got, I think it's got some of the best skins in the game.
Look at that. It's pretty awesome. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, but uh, apparently you can only be male dinosaurs right now in the game. <laughs> I'm a little hurt by that. So this is the point where things really went wonky, uh, because um, I just kind of kept going higher and higher and higher and higher. I mean, it's cool, and I was actually really impressed because um, I'm sure I've mentioned a million times my intermittent uh, motion sickness, and this wasn't bothering me at all. Like, being up high, some twirling action, none of that bugged me. So, whatever they're doing, they're doing that right. Um, but it looked like I was going to, like, fly off the world. <laughs> and then I got an invite, and I couldn't accept the invite, and I couldn't use the controls to come down. Well, and it's not even use the controls, it's just if you stop. I almost got struck by lightning there. If you stop flapping your wings, you just start falling, or gliding, <laughs> falling to the ground. And it just was not, it was not happening no matter what I did. I could not come down and I could not accept or decline the invite. I mean, that's pretty much how I sound. That whole time. <laughs> Accurate noises. Um, I like this Therizinosaurus. Uh, and it definitely looked like it could hold its own, um, just not against the one dinosaur that I happened to come across when, <laughs> as I was playing it. Um, you know, no, I couldn't have come across a tiny little theropod, which I don't even think they have, like, raptors and other small carnivores, uh, that I've seen. I don't, the, the smallest thing I think they have is the carnosaurs, or carnosaurs, which is not really small when it comes down to it. But, um, yeah, I like this Therizinosaurus. It's kind of got a, like, a aardvark color scheme to it. And again, it's apparently an excellent swimmer. Look at that. Champion swimmer right there. And it's kind of strange. That, I mean, I know Therizinosaurus were pretty big, but it has, like, the same... I have the volume turned down super low right now. It has the same, like, plodding loud steps <laughs> as the big theropods do. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I was fighting that pentaceratops, the pentaceratops visually looked bigger than the acro, which is weird, but maybe I'm considered, like, a baby, you know, at this point. So I'm smaller, but it had quieter footsteps with four feet than I did with two. <laughs> So here's more of the tree, or the the ability tree, branches, what have you. Um, you know, you got all your stats on the left, it gives you a description down on the bottom, and you basically are free to pick your, um, your stats as you see fit, as long as you have the one previous to it. Um, that's really the only restriction there is, and there's different branches where you can start off. I was just kind of screwing around and just clicking things, so... But I don't know if you noticed, but it was going up. My point total was going up even as I did that. This is the um, Mamba Dance that the Therizinosaurus does, also known it's, as its main attack. <laughs> now it's doing the thriller. Thriller! So, I'm not 100% certain, but this T Rex, I think it was AI. Although it did kind of beeline right for me. I have no idea how to turn on like people's names if that is the case. But the two guys that were in here with me, one was a Spino and one was a Barry, and they were currently chatting, so I don't think that it was one of them. Maybe there was one other person in here. Yeah, I'm not- I mean, it seems way more straightforwardly aggressive than the other AI I've run into. But- but I just don't know for certain. And I definitely did not stand a, ma a stand a chance against it. I mean, he doesn't. It doesn't eat me or anything. So I, I don't know. Like, it doesn't feel to me like that was a a player. All right. So this is the last dinosaur with the Kinchosaurus, because that's not a dinosaur. You know, everyone plays all the time when it's an option. I kind of ignore mine and. Jurassic World Evolution and 
Jurassic about the game and all that kind of stuff. I like the pattern on this one though. I think all the pattern, like all the skins in this game, have been have been pretty good. Like they're better than a lot of the original Jurassic World Evolution game skins. And it's got a nice tail whip. First, I was really confused because I thought I was walking in sand, but I guess it's pretty wet sand, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> and then this happened. Oh yeah. Spider can't you so is. Who is also an excellent swimmer. All these dinosaurs, they're like the Michael Phelps of 95 million years ago. And then, just as easily as I walked in vertically, I walk out vertically. <laughs> that probably should have been a death trap for almost every dinosaur that went in there. If not all of them. <laughs> Except for maybe a compi or something like that. Or uh, like a raptor. Maybe that Therizinosaurus, you know, the big front claws that they could crawl out with. Um, so, I guess really all there is left to say is sort of my final thoughts. Um... Which are that uh, I probably should have known better because the game is three ninety nine. <laughs> well, and that's not true. Like it's it's not that it's it's a bad game. It's that it's just a game that is that looks like it's been pretty much abandoned or it's not being you know it's not being worked on. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Um, and it's very obvious that no one is interested in it in its current state. Um, when I logged out, there were th three other people that were in all of the servers combined. So, you know, that that says something. I don't feel like my 399 was wasted though. It is quite uh like in enjoyable in the sense of um the graphics and the look of the thing and everything. And you just need to turn down your volume and put on your favorite music. So you don't have to keep listening to the walking sound. But uh yeah, I mean it's, I'm definitely going to keep this game around. Uh, I'll probably uninstall it unless I have some inspiration for something I could do in the game. But I'm going to keep it around and I am going to keep an eye on it and see if anything exciting happens in the near future or in the distant future, whichever, right? Look at see this is a great this is a great like scenic shot. Like in a lot of video games this would be like you know, this is screenshot or uh, thumbnail territory. You're all like, yeah, sunset, a Kentro. Look, I think I was actually lining it up for it just in case. But uh, my uh, weightlifting acro was a little funnier for a thumbnail. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of a bummer that a game that looks this good with as little attention as it has um, is not really going anywhere. So anyways, we're going to wrap this up here. Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this, please do leave a, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will be back with more dinosaur fun real soon. Until then, have a good one.